Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FNMA. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past few days broken down into 30-minute time slices. I've been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. But want to get things updated here as it was a pretty crazy day. Uh, when all the dust had settled, uh, the bulls got back to where you would want to see them be. Uh, but still, nonetheless, the bears are still slowly making progress in the downwards direction. So the first statement, you know, the bulls got back to where they you know, would want to be. And that revolves around the $3.90 level because the overall channel that we've been tracking goes from 390, again, that green line, up to $4.15. So that's, you know, the big kind of overall channel that the price has essentially been stuck in for the past few weeks. And, you know, from the bullish perspective, the last thing you want to see the price do is break down through the bottom of a channel. And that's actually what happened during this 30 minute period right here. And then it spent essentially the, the early morning and early afternoon down here, which, you know, quote unquote, chart trader lingo, you know, a technical pattern breakdown. But to give credit where credit's due, the bulls eventually did fight back up. And not only did they fight back up to 390, they got back up above it. And you can see several times during the latter portions of the day, the bears tried to press down below there again, uh, but uh, the bear, or the bulls did do a good job of holding. So $3.90 is still a level of support. The price is still within that channel, and that's what you wanna see. So that's you know what I meant by you know the bulls did do a good job of getting back to where you'd wanna see them be. However, then I also made the statement that the, the bears are slowly making progress there. And the easiest way to just see this progress is you just start to you know look at the lows. How high has it gone every time it's bounced? So here's another bounce, but it only got that high. You know, and then on this bounce right here, but now it's seemingly only getting about this high. So if you picture each of these as stair steps, the bears are slowly but surely, you know, building this downward staircase, and that's not what you want to see from the bull instruction. Now, just because this is happening, does that mean this thing's headed down to two dollars and fifty cents by Friday? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that uh, you know, the, the, the bears seem to be picking up strength, seem to be picking up momentum. And while the bulls did do a good job of fighting back, uh, you know, they, they need to, you know, do a little bit better job of kind of establishing themselves because as it stands right now, uh, the ball seems to be rolling faster and faster for the bears at this point in time. So still a couple days left this week. It'll be interesting to see how the remainder of the week does shake out. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.